Welcome back. Today we're going to find out what major cities in the United States have absurdly low real estate prices and rock bottom costs of living. Now, when I say absurdly low, I mean for a major city. I'm sure you'll be able to find some small city in, I don't know, butt crack Oklahoma that has really low real estate prices and bargain basement costs of living. That's fine. We're talking about the major cities. Every state has one or two. They don't have to be the biggest. They're just the biggest ones in the state. The ones everyone knows. Now, before we get rolling, in the comment section, list a couple you think are probably going to make this video. And then, you know, we'll find out at the end. That's always fun. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Columbus, Ohio. Of the three or four metro areas in Ohio, Columbus is easily the best. You got Cleveland, which is a nightmare. You got Dayton, which is almost part of Cincinnati's metro area. But Dayton's a nightmare. And then Cincinnati's okay. But Columbus is definitely the best. Columbus is Ohio's capital city, and it offers a low cost of living and affordable housing options. It has a diverse economy with sectors in healthcare, education, and technology. It's a nice city. I've been there quite a few times. Now, one thing I should mention, there are cheaper cities that I took out of the video, Cleveland being one of them. These are cities that you could also find on my most dangerous cities lists. And I wouldn't want to be suggesting anyone move someplace that could get them killed. I mean, any place can technically. You just have better odds in a place like Cleveland in Detroit, St. Louis, just so you know. But if you want to live in a decent city that is affordable and you can live the American dream by getting a house, you should move to Columbus. According to Zillow, the first quarter of 2023, the median home price in Columbus was $242,091. And the cost of living in Columbus is 12% lower than the national average. That's not bad. Number nine, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yep, staying in Ohio for the first two on this list. In the early days of Cincinnati's history, they had a strong German influence, whether it was American Germans or Germans that came straight from Europe. I mean, at one point in the late 1800s, they were voted beer capital of the world. Now, this is something they do every year. You know, Munich's had it, and I think St. Louis had it one time, but Cincinnati actually won that award one year. The word Cincinnati is actually part of a German phrase. Translated to English, it's, mm, Klaus, my leather little hosen is too tight. That's my interpretation of it. I only took one semester of German. Actually, it's in reference to a society during the Revolutionary War, the Society of the Cincinnati. But they definitely have a strong German influence. They even have a neighborhood called Over the Rhine. And if you don't know, the Rhine River is the major river in Germany. And this neighborhood, uh, pre-prohibition, this is where all the breweries were in Cincinnati and Over the Rhine. If you want to move to Cincinnati, Cincinnati and invest in some real estate, the median home price in the first quarter of 2023 in Cincinnati, according to Zillow, was $239,921. Their cost of living is also 12% below the national average. It's not bad. Number eight, Louisville, Kentucky or Louisville. That's like one of those things they do there to know if you're from the area or you're not. Wait for someone to call it Louisville or something like that. It's Louisville. And I'm probably pronouncing it wrong to a lot of them. Louisville's not too far away from Cincinnati. It's just down Interstate 71, about an hour and a half to the southwest. Back in the day, both Louisville and Cincinnati were major transportation hubs with the Ohio River running right through the middle of both. Well, I guess it's not running through the middle of Louisville. It's kind of off to the northwest. It's on its border right across the way from Clarksville, Indiana. I was in Clarksville one time. I was just getting gas. And within the 10 minutes I was getting gas, I talked to like four people and that's all it took. I decided never to go back to Clarksville again. As I drove out of town, I was looking for like high power lines or anything like that because something was messing up the brains of these people. Not that Louisville's much better, but still. Louisville offers a lower cost of living and a thriving art and cultural scene. It has a diverse economy like most places on this list with healthcare logistics and manufacturing sectors. If you want to buy some property here, first quarter 2023, the median home price in Louisville was two. $236,427. Now that's the median. If you just bought your house for $350,000, congratulations. But we weren't thinking of you when we made the video. We're talking about the median. The cost of living in Louisville is 5% lower than the national average. Number seven, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You know, these days it doesn't seem like Pittsburgh shows up on much, but I have a feeling that's all changing, at least in the next five or six years. The stats in Pittsburgh in almost every front are trending in the right direction. They have been for about two or three years now. 
And I don't think for a long time people really considered Pittsburgh as a great place to live. I don't think that's the case anymore. It's affordable. The stats are decent. They got great schools. You got Carnegie Mellon there. You got University of Pittsburgh or just Pitt, whatever you want to call it. Their livability score is 82. And honestly, most major cities are lucky if they're 70 or 71. The traffic isn't terrible for a major city. The cost of living is dirt cheap. They got some crime. Jobs are coming back. They're not completely there. It's not a boom town or anything like that but definitely in the next few years i bet it will be if you have a job you could bring with you you work remotely great city to live in and their health care is phenomenal i'd never move there because i'm a cleveland browns fan if i think if you move to pittsburgh and you're a cleveland browns fan you're kicked out of some secret organization or something if you want to buy a house in pittsburgh the median home price is two hundred and twenty nine thousand four hundred eleven dollars that's the median house price their cost of living is 7% lower than the national average. Not bad, Pittsburgh. Number six, Columbia, South Carolina. Now, I'm not a big fan of the inland parts of South Carolina. They got some nice places. Columbia's not bad. I really like Charleston. I really like Bluffton. But for an inland city, Columbia's nice. And it plays a part of one of the best conversations that I ever had in my life. I went to school like first through eighth grade with this girl. Incredibly smart. And I'd seen her and we were talking and she goes, oh, I graduated from Columbia. I'm like, oh, in South Carolina? She's all, no, New York. I was like, oh, did they just recently move it or something? She was so confused. I knew the whole time. I was just jerking her around. But she was like, no, it's it's always been in New York. And then I started to realize she was concerned about... <laughs> I don't know my brain or something like I don't know it was pretty funny then I told her I was joking she laughed and called me a dumbass I said now you're sounding like you went to school in South Carolina and that is when I saw a Columbia graduate spray wine out of her nose if you want to buy a home in Columbia South Carolina the median home price is $224,468 their cost of living is below the national average not much it's 3% lower but it's still affordable Number five, El Paso, Texas. This is another city that people don't really understand. They don't get it. Because El Paso is so close to the border, they think it just sucks. People are so wrong. You need to go to El Paso and see that this is a great city. You know, the city's nice. It's the people, 100%. The people there are amazing. If you like Mexican food, it's a great place to live. El Paso is a border state. It's got Fort Bliss right there. And right across the Rio Grande, you got Juarez, Mexico. Which which that place is a shithole. The best way to experience Juarez, Mexico is, uh, I don't know, Discovery Channel documentary. That would probably be the best way. Definitely the safest way. I love El Paso. I love the people of El Paso. And if it wasn't so damn hot there, I'd probably move there. If you want to buy a home in El Paso, Texas, the median home price the first quarter of 2023 was $211,055. And their cost of living is 12% lower than the national average. Number four, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma City is a very interesting place. They've got a lot of history and a lot of it surrounds oil and free land. Yeah, the city's history began with the famous land run in 1889 when over 10,000 settlers raced to claim land in the area, resulting in the rapid establishment of a city. Oklahoma City at that. This is one that I think is another one that's kind of having a resurgence. Sort of like Pittsburgh. For a long time, it was just, you know, I don't know. Not many people considered moving there. It was wasn't like on anyone's bucket list to live in Oklahoma City. Now people are starting to see how cheap it is and, you know, they're giving it another look. With the cost of living below the national average, Oklahoma City has a strong presence in energy and in aerospace industries. I honestly did not know that they were big in aerospace until just recently. I grew up in an aerospace town. I mean, I'm in Southern California, right by Los Angeles International Airport, and there were tons of aerospace companies. They're still there, just not like they used to be. But right now in the Oklahoma City area, you could have Northrop Grumman, more than 10,000 employees with them, Boeing, more than 10,000 employees, in Oklahoma City. Lockheed Martin, again, more than 10,000 employees in Oklahoma City. The United States Department of Defense has over 10,000 in Oklahoma City. There's like five others that I can't pronounce their name, but you got Long Wave Incorporated, which has about 200 employees. There's a lot of aerospace out there. And if you want to move out there and start working in aerospace, you want to buy a home, 
The median home price in Oklahoma City is $199,296. That's as of the first quarter 2023. Might actually be a little cheaper when they do the next update because things are kind of sliding down in almost every single real estate market right now. The cost of living in Oklahoma City is 13% below the national average. Now, if you're watching this video 10 years from now, because of its popularity, all that might change and it might be an expensive place. That's what happened at California, New York, any place else that got popular. When more people show Show up, it gets expensive. It's how the world works. Number three, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Normally, I wouldn't advise anyone move to Tulsa unless they're into tractor pulls, rodeos, and paint drying. Tulsa is known for having affordable housing, friendly communities, and a lower overall cost of living. The city is big, just like any place in Oklahoma, in energy. Energy production, energy sales, it's all here for you. Now, interesting thing about Oklahoma City and Tulsa, when I've done videos for that company, MakeMyMove.com, they always have things for Tulsa and Oklahoma city. You just go to their website, check it out. They're not sponsoring this video. I'm just telling you, if you're one of the people thinking about moving to one of these places and you have, let's say a tech job or something like that, look in on that website and see if they're offering any money to help you move there. If you want to buy a house in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the median home price in first quarter 2023 was $196,555. Their overall cost of living is 11% below the national average. Number two, Wichita, Kansas. Wichita is kind of known for affordability. I mean, that's the only reason a lot of people move there. It's cheap. Like most cities in the middle of the country, Wichita wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a river. In this case, it's two rivers. It's the Arkansas River and the Little Arkansas River. This is where they meet. So what I found interesting when I went here, there's this little monument where they meet called the Keeper of the Plains. One river, the Arkansas River, is kind of like a greenish color. Well, the other one's kind of brown, and then they mix in the middle there. Wichita is an interesting place. It's kind of laid back. Uh, you just get this vibe from the place. I don't know. They don't have a whole bunch of high rises. You know, they got a handful of buildings that are over like 10 stories. That's about it. The city's kind of flat, just like the surrounding area. If you're looking for work here, they got aerospace, they got manufacturing, and they're big in healthcare in Wichita. If you want to buy some real estate in Wichita, your median home price is $186,579. Their overall cost of living is 11% below the national average. That's not bad. Got a low cost of living, low home price, and decent neighbors. All right, if you're looking to move to one of these cities or any city in the United States, there's a link in the description area for Home and Money. That's a website that has all kinds of things to help you find your new home, including getting you in touch with a local real estate agent wherever you're going to move to. All right, on to number one. And number one. Birmingham, Alabama. Now, Birmingham has some crime more than any other city on this list. They have some incredible areas that aren't filled with crime, and those places are still affordable. This whole city is just so cheap, you know, you kind of overlook the crime a little bit. Is it as dangerous as St. Louis, Detroit, or Memphis? Absolutely not, but it's got some crime. Birmingham has one of the most affordable real estate markets in the nation, and their cost of living goes like this. So you got high cost of living, average cost of living, low cost of living. Birmingham's below that. Their ranking is called dirt cheap. If you want to buy a home in Birmingham, Alabama, their median home price in the first quarter of 2023 was $104,878. Like I said, it might be worth the risk. Their cost of living is 17% below the national average. You could live in Birmingham, Alabama decently on minimum wage. So you'd be like working at Taco Bell right now and paying all your bills in Birmingham, Alabama. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.